already? Are right, you watching this on TikTok? I mean, if you watch this on YouTube, click the like button right now. If y'all get this to 3,000 likes, I will be dropping a story time every Sunday. But y'all y'all yet to do it. Y'all yet to get it to 3,000 likes. So try your best this time. Like it right now as you speak to me. But welcome back to another story time. In today's story time, uh, I was in about, what, 6th or 7th grade. And it was a school thief. And who was he hitting them licks on? He was hitting them bitches on me. Stealing from my broke ass. So, I, you know, we got to start all the way from the beginning. Now, I told y'all, it's a school, it's a public, I only went to one public school. And I went there for about three, four months. If you, if you an OG, you know that. The school is called Hard Tramp. It's near 7th and Lehigh. Some of y'all niggas from the trenches. I know y'all know where Hard Tramp at. Hard Tramp, Hard Tramp. If you don't know where that's at, oh well. Hard Tramp, I went there for two or three months because my school shut down just before I went to prep. I went to Hard Tramp. Now, when I went to Hard Tramp, I'm not going to lie. Niggas was dirty. Niggas was dirty, bro. Niggas was stealing. So, all right. So, y'all know I told y'all, during the winter time, anytime I wear hoodies. Now, it's only one time. It's only one time I wore a jacket. My mom got me a nice polo jacket, bro. It was navy blue. It had the black. It had the black horse. And and I'm not going to lie. Polo was the shit. Like, polo's still not corny, bro. Niggas wear polo tees. Niggas wear, bro, ain't nothing wrong with Ralph Lauren. It's actually expensive, nigga. If you going golfing, you going to go out there with some nasty shit, or you going to go cop you some, some golf wear from Ralph Lauren, nigga. Ain't nothing wrong with no Ralph Lauren. But, Peep, though, I had the I had the polo jacket. That's the only jacket I wore, bro. It fit me It fit me snug. It fit me all nice. It hugged the body nice. It make me look like I got abs under there. You feel me? It's not too bubbly, but it's bubble. You know, the bubble coats was in. Not the bubble bubble Jones, because as soon as the bubble coats went in, that's when the Chinese niggas released the ultimate bubbles, the premium prestige bubbles. And then that's when them plastic boys came out that looked like mine clears. It was a bad wave. I'm talking about before that, nigga. It was an actual good, it was a good, bro. It was a good, a good polo coat. I'm not going to lie, bro. It, it wasn't too long either, bro. It wasn't too long. It wasn't too long. It wasn't too short, bro. It was the best coat, bro. I'm not going to lie, that was the best coat I ever had in my life. If I wear that, bro, if I find that coat again, I might actually buy it. A uh, Lauren, Lauren, it don't matter, bro, it don't matter. You know what I mean, right? What you want from me, bro? Bro, want me to cash at him for saying it wrong. Fuck you, the owner. It don't matter. Pete, bro, the point is, I had that coat. Just the first shit that got stolen from me. So I was going to school for about two weeks. I didn't know how treacherous niggas was in there. Now, 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 sitting back from this standpoint as an older, a older, a older, you feel me? I'm older now, and I'm and sitting back, I'm looking. Them niggas ain't had no coats. So a nigga come with a coat, it's, it's fair game. But I looked at it like, damn, I could come into school, hang my shit up, and the cubby, not even the cubby, it was like hooks, but they was open. You feel me? It wasn't no cubby. Hang your shit wherever... And, and you come back, at the end of the day, you get your shit. Now, it, I, I really I really shouldn't have trust the policy. If I if I really take a step back, I should have worn my shit all throughout the day. You hang your shit up, it's open, anybody can get it. We switching classes and all that. A, a whole different class could come in and see a coat if they wanted to. The shit was weird. It was some weird shit going on. I don't know why we ain't had lockers, but it was kind of nasty. My shit hanging up for all the day. We swapping out classes. Whoever got, whoever got my teacher for reading can see my shit, whoever got him for, for math, see my shit, whoever coming in for, for fucking lunch, meetings, when nobody in the room, niggas stepping there taking calls, so many niggas got access to my coat, so I should have fucking wore my shit, but I didn't, I'm going to lunch, you feel me, I'm going to lunch right now, at that time, I wouldn't necessarily call it recess, but you could call it what you want, niggas try to downplay recess, I don't know if niggas still got recess to this day, bro, but if you got recess, clap it the fuck up. Don't be like, oh, no, I don't got recess, nigga. You stop you stop doing schoolwork to go outside and play basketball and sports. You should want recess. It's nothing corny about it, nigga. Y'all should want some fucking recess. Even if y'all don't call it replay time, break time, I don't care what you call it, nigga. It's better than doing schoolwork. Recess got boring as I got older. Not me. Throw the ball up, Mossies, Mossies, get elbowed in my fucking eye. I'm trying to grab the football. It was the best shit ever. Tag, basketball, all that, bro. What? What, bro? Recess was the shit. 
You that probably you wasn't active then. You probably was out there trying, trying, trying to look cute. That's not what school for. School for learning. See, my mom told me that. School for learning. We can't have our phones or nothing. Damn, they dick child. We can't have our phones at, at at that. You feel me? Your bitch might go to another school. That might be your time to bust it up. <laughs> Do whatever you want. But we had that period. Right after lunch, we had a recess time. Right? We go to a recess time. You feel me? Blah, blah, blah. We playing. I had the best. Now, now I'm not going to lie. I remember this day like the back of my hand because at recess, I had the best day ever. I'm at recess. We playing basketball. I'm doing good that day. Niggas not picking me up last. They say, yo, yo, who you got next? I got Rod. I was first pick. I felt like Stephen Curry. I felt like I was first drafted. I got Rod. Like, bro, shit was going good, bro. Slap boxing. It was so much shit. It was so much shit, bro. We at recess, and I'm having the best time of my life. As soon as we was done with the recess, uh, I go back into my classroom, and that's advisory. You go advisory, and then you do your last period, which is math. You know, the hard period uh, last, blah, blah, blah. But before that, you feel me? You, you go to advisory. I go to advisory, and I got my head down. I'm really tired. You feel me? You know, we got the, we got the corny-ass tan pants on that keep getting dirty. My mom tired of buying the slim fit ones, so she started trying to buy me the nasty big ass Jones. I'm still wearing my dirty Jones. It's about fit, not not. You feel me? It didn't matter how clean it was, as long as they fit how I like them. My mom's trying to buy me the baggy Jones. She gonna go to. She had a nerve to go to Foreman Mill. She tried to do that to me. I'm not gonna lie. I gotta call her out for her shit. I gotta call her out for her actions. She tried to go there and get me two for twenty pants because I kept messing up the good ones, and I was not wearing them. I kept wearing mine with my marks on them, and I didn't give a fuck. Somebody said, did you wear those yesterday? I'm like, nigga, I washed my ass. I'm like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I I don't I didn't know what he wanted from me. Like, bro, pants is outerwear, bro. My pajama pants is washed that go underneath my clothes. My ass washed. My dick and balls washed with my nice clean drawers. My 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 my, my fresh white beater, my fresh t-shirt. Who gives a fuck if I wear the same pants? They, they fit good, bitch. It's this uniform. I'm not coming to impress nobody. That's what I was on, bro. I was on all that. And it was actually crazy because, bro, the teacher tried to play me, right? All right, all right. I know I'm not supposed to veer away from the story, but the teacher tried to play me. One time we in class, and mind you, I always got good grades, bro. I always got good grades, so she can't pull the grade shit on me, right? So she, she tried to hit this with me. Well, maybe before you come into my class, you should have make sure you got the same pants on, uh, Try to really, like, really dick me. I'm like, oh, no, this bitch didn't. I'm like, oh, no, this bitch didn't. Her name was Miss Jackson. I'm like, oh, well, Miss Jackson, maybe you shouldn't wear, you know, tights. You know, maybe you shouldn't wear tights being as though you, you know, you over 300 pounds. It's a little, it's a little uncomfortable for us. And now she wants to send me to the office. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Bro, she a big John, but she want to wear tights with Dr. Martins. Come on, bro. She want to try to wear skirts and sorority uh uh sweaters. You're not in college. You're 30 with kids and a mortgage and bills. <laughs> like, stop trying to dick me. I'm a child, bro. Wearing the same pants is different from, from wilding out. You feel me? At any moment, her kneecap could have bust, could have bust through, the, through the tights. But we ain't say nothing to her, but she going to try to dick me with the jeans. I got suspended that day, but that's cool. I had to tell y'all that. She, bro, come on now. <laughs> Now she, that's what I'm saying, like, a nut ass, a nut ass, <laughs> like, she try to send me to the office, though. <laughs> you try to dick me. <sighs> like, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. If, if you got a washer and dryer, wear the same pants if you want to. Hoodies, you can wear hoodies as long as you want. You feel me? Wash your ass, swap your drawers and your t-shirt, wipe your face and, and brush your teeth in the morning, you good. At the end of the day, if I kiss somebody, my shit don't stink. At the end of the day, if I'm fucking my ass, my balls is washed. Why are we trying? Why why are you trying to why are you trying to cook me? But anyway, at the recess, I go there, I put my head down, I'm real tired, blah, blah, blah. And I'm my fault, my fault. I'm my, my, my head laid down. I'm really chilling. I'm really chilling. And something told me to look to the left. Like I'm I'm sitting there, I'm like this. And something said, yo, Rod, look to the left. I ain't look to the left though. Now, as I'm doing there, I, I I fall asleep, right? I fall asleep. Advisory is really bullshit. Advisory is, hey, everybody passing their classes. It's really like a free time. It was like two recesses back to back. I'm not going to lie. Unless she wanted to take it there and be an asshole. But for real, for real, 
It was a it was a chill period. Now you ever be sleeping and you want to move so bad you trying to move but you can't fucking move. Now don't call it sleep paralysis because I wasn't seeing nothing. I could see clearly. I'm looking at my man's. And I'm like, this nigga don't see me suffering? Bro, I'm trying to move my neck, but it wouldn't. I, I, don't, I don't know what that shit was, but Pete, I'm trying to move my neck, bro. I, 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 I'm I sitting there, and it must have looked really weird for my classmate per, uh, POV, but I just do this. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I felt like a dickhead. Everybody looked at me. I'm like, oh. Like, it was real uncomfortable. So that distracted me. That embarrassment... That embarrassment dicked me from the task of seeing that my jacket was gone. Because, peep, if I would have peeped the jacket was gone right now, I could have said something while niggas was still in classes. So if somebody took my jacket, they took it last period. The more periods that go by, the more chances they got of getting away from me. You feel me? So if I would have realized instead of the paralysis kicking my ass, I, I could have court the nigga first period. I forget in the period go by second period. Niggas transitioning. I'm like, fuck. Fuck. The jacket going. I tell my teacher. I raise my hand. I say, hey, in last period, I noticed my jacket was gone. I really don't want it to be gone. Like, my mom paid. That's my favorite jacket. You know what this nigga going to tell me? Oh, it's okay, Sharad. At the end of the day, we're just going to make sure, you know, we do the best that we can to locate it. But right now, let's focus on the work. You selfish bitch. Because, bro, bro, that's selfish. That's selfish because, peep, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if his phone was missing, right? If somebody said, hey, it's a it's a red Honda Civic uh, removed from the parking lot and he owned a red Honda Civic, was he going to continue to do that work? If his fucking mom called and said somebody robbed the house, is he going to finish the work? If, some, if his laptop gone, is he going to finish the work? If his nasty ass trench coat gone, is he gonna finish the work? Stop treating me like I'm a bitch, bro. That be my thing with these niggas. So I started snapping out, bro. I got every right to snap out, bro. I'm snapping on him. I'm like, bro, I need my jacket. Like, ah, uh, da, da. He, well, you can walk out or you can go look for your jacket. But I'm gonna give you a zero for the day. They know I care about my grades, bro. That was the biggest threat. You could call my mom before I let you give me a zero. I walk right out, nigga. Fuck that zero. I need my coat. I'm going to walk home with 100, and I'm going I'm, to I'm be on 30 degrees. I might as well take this zero so I could be at a higher degree when I'm walking home. It was cold as shit. It was like wintertime. So I'm not. I'm going through classrooms, and during the last period, they let you go to your homeroom and grab your shit. So the last period, everybody got their shit just next to their desk on some sloppy-ass shit, right? <laughs> now, look, my school had this policy. Uh, no hats, uh, no do-rags, no bonnets, no scarves, no combs, all this net. Like, what? Are we in jail? I'm going to keep it above. If we came here to learn, if, if my daughter come to school and I, and I put $300 in her here, fresh, fresh, I make her look all nice. You telling me if her work done, she can't comb her shit? I understand, but I don't understand. Like, so since that policy was going on, I'm not going to lie, I couldn't tell who had what because you can't have your shit on you. It got to be next to your desk. And I'm trying to walk through the aisle to really see what's what's on the floor. And as I'm walking, they hey, Shira, get out my class. Like, niggas really pushing me out. So it's like, fuck. I can't tell where my shit at. My fucking jacket was gone. I went home with no jacket, and I got my ass whooped. My mom said, well, well, that's what you get for being irresponsible. I said, mom, it was on the hook. You supposed to hang your stuff up on the hook. And she whooped my ass anyway. Mohammed, she whooped my ass anyway, bro. It was a bad ass whooping too, like like I like I lost it. Every time so I didn't come home with something, she said I lost it. It doesn't matter what happened. Oh, mom, uh, somebody snatched it off my back and beat me up. That's why I got a black eye. Oh well, you shouldn't have been fighting. And and, and next time, bring that jacket home, and you won't get an ass whooping. So it don't matter. So so now so now. So now, since I got my ass whooped, I know the terms and conditions. I know the terms and conditions. The terms and conditions, let me explain it to y'all. The terms and conditions is, she don't give a fuck what happens in school. I better bring my shit home. So now, I'm carrying it like a mob boss, nigga. I'm carrying it like a gangster. Now, I'm going to school in an Eric Crombie hoodie. Cold as shit. So I'm going to school, bro. I'm wearing my hoodie all throughout the day. Hey, Sherrod, could you take your hoodie off? No, I may not. No, I can't, actually. 
oh, I'm going to need you to take your jacket off. Well, no, actually, I can't because, you know what? You told me that we were gonna, we was going to find my polo jacket, and I, I got a whooping for not bringing my polo jacket home, and and you're not going to pull the same shit with my Abercrombie hoodie. Oh, well, Sherrod, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry about that. Maybe we can check the cameras. Well, maybe you can, but until you get my polo hoodie back, I'm not taking my shit off. They send me to the office. They send me to the office. I'm talking to the principal. I'm not taking my shit off. Send me home. They send me home. My mom like, yo, why they send you home? I said, because I wouldn't take my jacket off. I'm not going to let nobody steal it, mom. She whooped my ass anyway. She whooped my ass again. Listen to the teachers. I can't win. I listen to the teachers. It's going to get stolen. I carry it. I carry it like a real nigga, and I'm still getting my ass whooped. I'm getting my ass whooped either way. Ass whooping. Double L's. Lose, lose. I just keep getting my ass whooped. I can't win. I wasn't getting smart or nothing. The system rigged. I can't win. Bro, whoop my ass again. First you lose your jacket. Now you're getting sent home. She trying to line up the problems. I'm like, what you want from me? I do my chores. When she say do something, I do it. I don't talk back. Why the fuck am I getting my ass whooped? I get my ass whooped again. So what What, what I'm supposed to be on now? I'm supposed to be on the type time like, well, whoever take it, just take it. I'm going to just get my ass whooped again. So I'm a smart ass, and I, and I refuse to let my will be broke. So I stuff I stuff my I, I go I go to school because the school was only like five blocks away. But I'm not gonna lie, when you walk into a blizzard, five blocks five blocks is fifteen blocks. I always add ten, maybe twenty if you if you really feel like it. Like I'm talking, my fingertips frozen. I get in there like damn, it ain't that cold. Hit the warmth and now my body tangling because I'm actually frozen. I walk to school with no jacket, no book bag because peep. The same day that I wore my Eric Crombie hoodie, the whole day, I had my book bag hanging up. My mom packed me lunch. This one, my mom cared to pack me lunch. She packed me lunch, nigga, still in my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, nigga. Why would you even go in my bag? Bro, niggas was really stealing. That's why I'm telling this story time. Niggas was stealing from me, nigga. Like, I was a bitch. But I'm thinking it's just me. Everybody complaining. Oh, this is being stolen. Like, what if I ate wheat bread, nigga? What if it was wheat bread? Don't touch my shit, like... What if I needed that? Niggas touching the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, bro. Dick in my juices, the high C juice box going. All this. I'm like, hell no. Bro, these niggas had to be struggling, bro. They stealing sandwiches? I know y'all got bread. Everybody got peanut butter. Jelly? Butter? Lunch me and cheese? Somebody got something that could go on the sandwich, bro. No way. You stealing my lunch. These niggas getting crafty, bro, and I'm not no bitch. I'm actually light yagami, but li being light yagami in the, a public school is way different, bro. And because, Pete, you might trap somebody in a corner. You might trap these... Th th let me explain the difference between public school kids because you might think, oh, we all in Philly, it's all the same thing. No, it's not about the kids. Kids gonna be kids. Rude kids gonna be rude kids, but it's what you tolerate. Public school to tolerates nothing. I mean, everything. They let everything go. Uh, the other schools don't try to let it happen, but it still happened. But it's still like, you know you're going to get in trouble for that. These niggas do it with no no remorse. They know you're not going to do shit. We got white teachers who want to quit. We got black teachers who not teaching, who, who, who being more of a friend than a teacher. It's so much, bro. So if I trap a nigga in the corner like, aha, you the one who did it. He going to say, and what? And beat me the fuck up if I can't beat, beat him. Like, it's... That's that's what it is. So I'm like, bro, fuck this. I start carrying my mom's switch knife to school. I'm like, I'm stabbing a nigga over this sandwich. Now I put nothing in the lunchbox. My mom packed me a my mom packed me a lunch. I sit my lunch back in the fridge because I'm gonna eat that when I come home. I already went three days no 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 PB and J no juice. I'm surprised he left me my fruit snacks. I'm not gonna lie. I rather I rather skip lunch during school and go home and eat it. Now, I write a note and said, I'm looking at you on some childish shit. I'm looking at you. Stop stealing. I write it. I put it in the lunchbox. I put it in the lunchbox. I zip the bag up. 
all day. I'm watching the bag. I'm watching niggas' eyes. Who really looking at my shit? I'm looking. Because you you probably comfortable now. You like, oh, this nigga ride lacking. You probably even think I don't even know this. You 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 cooking me every day so much. You cooking me every day so much. You probably think I'm sweet. I'm a oh, oh he an easy lick. Free PB and J. You probably already securing your 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 taste buds to to bite my fucking sandwich. You probably know your preference. You probably like how my mom make my fucking my fucking sandwiches. You probably told your man you gonna give him a cut of your sandwich, and your mom ain't make you shit. You think I'm sweet, bro? I know he think I'm sweet. I'm not sweet, y'all. I'm not sweet. Now let me introduce the characters. It's my man's Matt. <clears throat> At least I thought it was my man's. He was in on it. It's a nigga named Matt, and it's a nigga named Sincere. These are my prime suspects, and I'm gonna let you know why. Right now, I'm looking at niggas who looking. And guess who just keep going to their bag for nothing? You feel me? Now the, the nigga Matt, I'm I'm thinking he my man's, but Matt does no work. If you if, if if he your man's, you know you know him for real. I know Matt. Matt does no work. So what are you going to your? Hey, could I get my sharpener? He, fuck you trying to scope the scene. So Matt keep going to his bag, right? So I'm like, all right, Matt, prompt suspect. Now sincere, sincere, a whole different nigga. Sincere walk up right up to my bag, unzipping it while we in class. I'm like, no way I was liking this bag. It's sincere. He reach in my bag. He grab a pencil, and then he closes it back. So now he's a prime suspect. He don't grab the sandwich, but you felt comfortable enough to go in another nigga's bag. My my Nike bag. You, you went in my Nike bag, and you grabbed you my number two pencil. So now so now these niggas on my list. These niggas on my list. Who's the niggas close to the, to the cubby area? And who the fuck feel comfortable going in my bag? These two niggas, the prime suspect. I'm not looking at nobody else. I'm focusing on y'all. If I watch y'all for a whole day and my shit don't go missing, well, y'all off the list. But today, my eyes on them. I don't have Matt for reading. Now, now I transfer out. I go to math. And Matt stays in there for reading, but sincere leave. Matt is the first suspect. They say, hey, everybody, you know, transfer, transfer the next class, blah, blah, blah. The bell don't dismiss you. I dismiss you. All this nut ass cool shit. Now, I how you ain't report that, bro? Snitching gets you nowhere. You snitch. The teachers literally tell you, stop telling, man. Sit down, bro. I'm telling you. But P, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there, and I don't transfer. Now this this why I said it's no boundaries. If I was at my charter school, the teacher would have said, Hey, Sharad, you're not in this class. Go to your right class. The nigga let me sit there. You know I'm not in this class. I never come to this class. But I'm sitting there. But now I'm sitting in the back. I'm sitting in the back. He don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. I'm sitting in the back. And and, and, and Matt can't see me. I put my head down. I take my jacket off and all that. I sit down because we wear the same uniform. If my head down like this, you can't tell who the fuck I am. We all wear we all wear uh burgundy shirts with tan pants. So I got my head down like this. He's still going over to the cubbies a lot, right? I'm looking at I'm watching him. I'm going to whoop this nigga's mad ass. Because, bro... I got sent home for getting smart with the teachers and not taking my hoodie off. But for real, for real, when you fight, you talk to the dean and you get put back in class. The rules was fucked up. Shit was twisted. But I'm sitting there in my seat and Matt keep going by the cubby. He keep going by the hook, uh, the hook area. I'm looking at him, I'm watching him. I'm like, I wish this nigga would reach in my bag. I wish he would reach in my bag. Uh, the the uh coast was clear. Matt did not steal anything. I think Matt actually was just a little dumb. Uh, Matt genuinely just got up and kept going to his bag. Or maybe he had drugs in there. I don't know. It wasn't Matt, though. That's that's the end of the story. I watched Matt for two days. But, Pete, while I watched Matt for two days, I go home that first day, and the note is gone. So, Sincere is the prime suspect. I think Matt just dumb. Matt probably, I don't know. I'm not going to say that word. I'm going to get banned. Matt wasn't on the brighter side of things. But, and I peep. I said, oh, Matt never does his work. Then I peep. This nigga Matt just get up for no reason and walk to his bag. Then I peep. Where Matt be at during lunch? Matt be with the slow kids. Matt's dumb. It's not Matt. It wasn't Matt. But but in my investigation, all I found out on Matt was just Matt was dumb. Now, the next nigga, Sincere, he go to every class with me. So how could he be stealing? Now, when he take his bathroom breaks, you don't have to ask to go to the bathroom. You walk right out. Where you going? To the bathroom. Bro, it could be the... Th it, some nigga could walk out and say that, and the next nigga could walk out. Where you going? The bathroom. Next nigga walk out. Where you going? The bathroom. 
All right, tell such and such to come back. Dickhead, you're not telling nobody to come back. They are friends, and they just dicked you. Down they chilling in the halls. Like, you could really get out the class easy. So he used to take a bathroom break every time. I'm like, this is where this nigga sincere is taking my sandwich. He asked for his bathroom break. I'll wait till he get a little distance farther before I act so he don't even hear me coming. I walk, I walk right out. Where you going? I said to follow, to, uh, to follow sincere, right? Sincere walking towards our classroom. I got this nigga. What is he doing now? During the period, during uh the next period, I told you, they don't care who who walk in the classroom. It was like sixth or seventh grade. They don't care who walk in the classroom. He walk into our classroom. I stand on the outside of the door because if he walk out with a PB and J, I'm a dicky. He go in there, and he don't walk out with a PB and J. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I walk back in there. The sandwich still going, though. The sandwich is going. They dicking me. I can't. Listen, listen. Tr really think about it. L think about it, nigga. Think about it. First period, we all got class together. Me, Matt, me, Matt and Sincere. The next period, I watched Matt. And I watched my cuppy. And the shit still was going. I go back to my regular class. I watch Sincere. The shit is still going. Who the fuck is taking my sandwich? Bro, it's cooking me. It's co it's cooking me, bro. It's cooking me, bro, because they take it every day. I don't eat because of this shit. I, I start leaving my lunch home. Now my mom on some, oh, I'm not making you lunches since you don't want it. He tucked it. No, he didn't tuck it, bro. I start play fighting with him and all that, trying to pat him down. Hey, you know how you how you thought you was a pickpocket pick pocket artist? By uh by bumping a nigga and digging heavily in his pocket and taking his shit. I'm on all out. I'm bumping into him. Hey! I bump into him hitting with all this. Hey! Ah, hey! Nice seeing you. Pat him right down. Come on, bro. I know he wasn't tucking it. Bro, I took the precautions to make sure he wasn't tucking in his ass. He sincere looked like a crafty nigga. Now, I got to introduce you to this girl. Her name is Star. Her name is Star. She a little chubby. She light skin. She my friend. I gave her access to go in my bag, right? I give her access to go in my bag and get a pencil whenever she want. But she's not in none of these classes. Apparently, she was coming from her. After we transitioned, she was taking her bathroom uh, break. And, and eating, oh, they just banned me, though? She was taking her bathroom break and eating my fucking sandwich. Then they just banned me, though? Hold up. Damn. Why did he ban me? Did I say, was it the return? Oh, I can't see that one. Was it the... Yeah, we're gonna be trying to get water to... Hold up, hold up. Alright, I told them to come to Twitch. No, it was a fake. The cheat for 24 hours... But but peeps, I found out because Sincere did have something to do with it. Apparently, when he take his bathroom break, it was after she already took it. And when he take his when he take uh his bathroom break, he was going in to like make sure she kept the bag zipped up. It was a whole fucking plan. Now, how did I find out? One day, bro, and and, and peep, I'm gonna tell y'all how she took it, even though I was in the room. When she came into that room, when I was watching Matt. She, hey, Rod, gave me a hug or whatever. And she asked me, bro, she asked me. She like, hey, did you, uh, what'd she say? You know, Sincere goes to the other class. She like, hey, did you see Sincere? I'm like, Sincere in the upper room. She like, uh, she like, um, oh, yeah, well, well, could you go get him? I'm like, no, nah, I'm chilling in this class. She like, ain't you supposed to be in the other class? I'm like, yeah, I'm supposed to be in the other class. I'm like, what you need him for, right? No, 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 I'm like, what you need him for? Niggas have made a game plan to steal from me, bro, yes. So I'm like, what you need him for? She like, oh, no. Um, Could you just tell him to come here? I got his work. That's why he be taking them bathroom breaks, because he be, cause he be uh, coming to get his work from me. I'm just coming to get it for him, blah, blah, blah. I walk into the hallway. I don't go get him. I point. I say, Star, come here. Somebody in the hallway playing, so I'm watching him. This is why she's snatching, my, she's snatching my sandwich while this going on, bro. I'm looking down the hall, and I'm like, yo, Star. I, I, I look back at her, and, and, and she right behind me. And I'm like, yo, that's the classroom right there. That's that's the uh, classroom sincere. She, oh, thank you. 
I sit back, I watch Matt. My eyes on the wrong niggas. My eyes on the wrong niggas, bro. She dick me, bro. She dick me bad. Now, this is a public school, so they were stealing my shit. I made my mom stop buying it. Somebody put a a, a thumb net a thumbtack in the teacher's chair and he sat on it and had to go to the hospital. And they did it twice. So then they put cameras into the uh into the room. They put cameras in the room for each classroom. I'm not gonna lie. Bro ass was bleeding. It was bad. They they bro, teachers was quitting left and right. They was dicking him, right? Now, since the cameras was in there, you can check the cameras, right? So now this is my ultimate trap. The camera's in there, and you can check it. You can, like, ask your teacher to check your classroom, right? So after that, nothing happened to the teachers. That was the teacher's safety. If the cameras was off, the teachers was dicked. So, I, bro, they, I don't know why they did that. They put a thumbtack in there, bro. He sat down. Oh, my gosh. The way he screamed, he like, ah! Oh! Bro, at, like, the back of, he used to wear uh, cargo pants, too. So the back of his jaw just turned to red. I'm like, what? Bro, ass was bleeding. He had to go to the hospital. I'm like, dying. That's crazy. We never saw him again. They called him One Cheek Wonder after that. That wasn't fun. It was funny at that time. That's not funny. Bro lost the ass cheek. Um. Oh, my fault. Was the thumbtack an asshole? No, I think it was... Just uh, no homo, bro. It was like just his ass cheek, I think. But um, cameras in the room now. So I I asked my mom because she started packing me lunches again. She ain't do it till like another week. I got a month left in the school, but I'm going I'm gonna find out who just before I found out it was Star. So uh, the cameras in the room. My mom started making me lunch again. I'm making it known I got lunch. First period. That's what I did. First period. I opened my bag. I set my lunchbox down. I crack him open. <laughs> Dicking him every time, every time. One day I don't dick him first period. This is where the trap set up. Now the lunch is in there, right? The lunch is in there. It's in a lunchbox. But instead of it being in my regular lunchbox, the hard shell lunchbox, I put the hard shell lunchbox in the uh in in my little brother's Lightning McQueen lunchbox. And inside that lunchbox, I put it in a white bag. On side that bag, I tie I I pulled one of the strings from the bottom of my Nike bag. And I tied it to the plastic bag. And then I zipped it up again. Right? I did all that. I did all that. Right? After I'm doing that, I'm like, no nigga can get this John fast as shit without being soft. I tilt the camera towards my bag. And all I do is sit back and wait. I'm watching, I'm watching this nigga mad and sincere. Right? And something randomly just made me, hey, can I go to the bathroom? I asked to go to the bathroom. The bag is ripped. This time, they took the whole lunchbox. Now, you might be like, uh, you, you might be like, uh, you might be like, right, they still got it. No, they're not frying me this time. Actually, they moving pretty sloppy by taking the whole lunchbox now. They moving bad. They moving bad as shit. They moving horrible. Now, at that time, I had an iPhone 4 and I had a 5C. I had the 4 in the lunchbox. I'm going through each class. Ding, ding, ding. Why you take the whole lunchbox? You should have just took the you just took the sandwich. You should have took the sandwich. Now just before I even check the cam, I want to embarrass you front front up, front up. I want to embarrass you. Yeah, bro, I had the old John with the with the fat ass charger, the 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 uh the fucking the cord that go into the phone. It's like four centimeters. That John big as shit. Exactly. At this point, they stealing. You took the lunchbox. You took the whole lunchbox. Like, y'all getting nasty. So I'm ding, 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 ding. And I can't hear this shit. I can't hear it for nothing. And it's because it's not this nigga Matt or Sincere. Now, I started to suspect Star. Now, the thing about the lunchbox is I put a lock on it. My mom my mom had a, uh, she had a, she, the, uh, she had this heavy ass lock. I didn't even have the key to the lock. I just locked it. I just locked the hard one and I put it inside the soft one. My, my little brother, John. So I'm like, you can't get the lunch. And I locked the iPhone in there. So it's going ding regardless. I'm going to catch you. Third period. I got a star in my classroom. 
Something told me to do it. Ding, 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 ding. Star, Matt, and Sincere all in the class. I walk right over to Sincere. Empty a bag out. I ain't emptying shit. Blah, blah, blah. Empty this bag out, nigga. You been stealing my lunch. Now, when I said that, he made a face. Once he made that face, I'm like, oh, so it was you. It was you. He made the face because he in it, not because he stole it. Oh, no, bro, you could check me right now. Somebody who's willing to let you check them, either one, they bluffing, and if, if they bluffing and they want you to not check them, and that's really not the smart option unless you're a good actor, but nine times out of ten, it's the dumb one. I'm never going to go with the bluff. That's really not a good joke. Or two, they really don't have it. So I'm thinking he really don't have it. If he would have took the bluff, I would have beat him the fuck up. You can check me. Check me now. Go ahead, check. What? Pat me down. Pat me, pat. And then you really got it. I'm going to beat the shit out of you. Like, why you just do all that? Give me my shit. But he, he really didn't have it. But he made a face like he was aware of the situation, though. I never I never went to the teachers. I never, my mom never called up about it. Nothing. So why the fuck you make a face when I say it? So I'm like, yeah, you stay, you stay, you and your man Matt going down. I walk over to Matt. Yo, Matt, give me my stuff. Oh, I don't have your stuff, Sherrod. First name basis. You can check me? All oh, this, bro. He talked like a weirdo. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm checking him. No. Ding, 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 ding. It sound like it's to the left. It sound like it's to the right. It sound like it's in front of me, behind me. I don't know where it's at. I'm like, fuck, what I'm going to do? Class dismissed. And I'm standing at the door like this. Nobody leaving until I get my stuff. Niggas like, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm like, all right, you can leave, bro. One at a time, I'm playing. They let me go. They dicking. As they saying, one at a time, I'm dinging. The niggas who feel comfortable walking out the room don't have it. I'm noticing niggas walking out, but the noise is still in the room. We limit, we, it's going down. Sincere in the room, Matt in the room, Star in the room, and a couple others. I wasn't putting it past nobody. I'm like, I got y'all. It's still ringing. It's, it's, uh, Matt leave the room with no, no remorse. I'm looking. Sincere in the room and Star in the room. I'm looking. I'm like, wow. Really sincere? I did not think Star had it, bro. I go over to check Star. I still hear the dinging. I go to check Star, bro. I'm checking her bag. It's not in there. They trying to leave. I say, yo, wait a minute. Sincere, come here. Bro, you already checked my bag. You're not checking my bag. While I was letting niggas out one by one and bidding with niggas, these niggas swapped the lunchbox to the other bag. <sighs> bro, I'm like, Sincere, come here real quick. Man, you already checked my bag. You're not checking my bag now. You're not checking my bag. I said, bro, come here, bro. Come here. You're not checking my bag. I'm like, Star, go ahead. I'm checking your bag, bro. Ding, ding, ding. It's leaving out the room now. Give me my fucking lunch. I'm chasing him down the hall. You're not checking my bag. I spear this nigga into the wall. It's brick walls, too, bro. The hard-ass center block joints painted yellow with the nastiest paint at Home Depot. Yes, bro. Nasty wall. Smell like webs and dick. Bro, I stuck. Boom! Spearing right to the wall. Give me my stuff. We fighting. The dean pulled me off, and I grab his bag with it. I look at his bag, my lunchbox in there. I, I dump all his shit out. Give him his shit. Stop stealing from me. This the nigga that been stealing from me. Bro, I hit him with the Hall of Fame spear, nigga. The spear came from the heart. These niggas try to be sneaky and nasty and, and steal from me. I'm the motherfucking king. You can't steal from fuck. You can't steal from me. These niggas got up on me for two weeks. I checked the cameras. This bitch, this fat ass bitch star gonna come in there. Hey, could I get a pencil for my book bag? That's what she gonna say. But grab, but don't grab no pencil. She grabbed my lunchbox. <laughs> he took your jacket too? I don't know who the fuck took my jacket. I still didn't find out to that day. It probably was, it probably was Matt. I still got off that nigga Matt. He want us to think he dumb. Matt had something to do with it, nigga. My, my senses was tingling. I get I get my lunchbox back and now and now I'm on the type of time like it go it, it go missing star I'm getting you beat the fuck up my shit better not go missing my shit never went missing again ever ever still in my high C my peanut butter and jelly leaving me fruit snacks and and uh and, and a granola bar on some weird ass shit. And they only ain't take the fruit snacks cause of cause it's pork. I should've I should have eliminated the Christians and, and put the Muslims in the filter. The bitch Muslim. Oh, it's pork. Skittles pork too. And Twizzlers. And that's why she wasn't taking my fruit snacks.
They made her mom come up there. And I'm like, yo, why you ain't take the fruit snack? Because it's pork. I'm like, this bitch. Bro. Dick me. Bad. But with dick me. You was crying when they took your life.